Okay. Just got my G Dome Go Dome in the mail yesterday. Ordered it July 17th and it made it to Colorado in the US uh, yesterday on July 30th. So let's open it up and see what you get. This is the Universal G Dome version 2. Pretty thick packaging tape. Waterproof one, so it'll fit your phone or your GoPro. And another box in a box. Looks like a shoe box. All right, open it up. Looks like they were running a promotion when I ordered it, so you've got the Bluetooth remote as part of the package deal. And it looks like that's what this is here. Yeah. Bluetooth remote. And it looks like the thumb screws. And also maybe some sort of, I think it comes with a holder, like a wrist strap or something. So it might be that. And some more screws but also it came with uh, the anti water drops spray missing the cap I think it's rolling around in here or something rolling around and it feels like it did open a little bit here's the handle yep here's the cap so Instructions, it looks like. Nope, pack and slip. Thank you, card. Thank you, Nathan. And it also so it comes with one foam insert. And then I believe there's another one inside. Yep, and there's another one already inside. Looks like it's already cut for a GoPro. And this is the silicone cover. I didn't order the cover, the, the bag, I just ordered this. Also comes with a little, that's pretty neat. It just, boom, locks right on. And the, yeah, this is the version two, so it only has the four thumb screws on the back. you're opening you can feel the thing decompress oh this is the other foam insert so it's you'll need to cut them so you can cut one for your phone and one for your GoPro and there's the inside of it it's quite large see I have my phone right here so this is just an iPhone 13 Looks like it'll work pretty good. It's a lot heavier than I was expecting. 
and it comes taken apart so I'll have to put the handle on it sometime today and there's, there's instructions on how to put the handle or you can visit their website so you hold it like this and then you'll have another handle right here looks like it goes so I have two handles pretty cool I'm excited to use this Especially with the remote, so the Bluetooth remote, you just connect it to your your phone, and you'll just cut an insert out inside the phone piece here, so the remote will fit in there. Let's check out this guy. Nice and bright. Oh, okay, yeah. So this little handle, wrist handle, looks like helps with the floating. Welcome paper, more, more shipping paper, so cool. Well, that's the opening of the G-Dome version 2 universal waterproof housing. I'm going to show you how to install your G-Dome handle that comes with it since <clears throat> it comes apart, so you'll get a bag of M4 times 12 screws and then you get two of these size 10 and then there's an allen wrench inside the bag here and if you look at your G dome you have all these screws that go around but if you notice this one here kind of goes into this housing whereas this one here goes it's a little bit longer so when you're putting your handle on you have two screw holes on both sides and you want to make sure you put these bottom ones the bottom ones right here these you'll use the longer screws, so you, you'll use the 12s instead of the 10s. And then the 10s will just go back in these holes here on the top part of the handle. So yeah, top handle will take top hole on the handle will take the 10, and then the bottom hole on the handle will take the 12, and then the 12 will line up with this one here. It goes all the way through. It feels like there there is actually a nut here on the back. So when you remove the 12 screw here, you'll make sure to put the nut here on the back side when you secure your handle to the dome. And you can see when you remove the screws, this was the bottom screw right here, and this was a screw that's on top. So you can see obvious size difference, so you know that the 12 is the longer screw. It's hard to get out. So we'll take the 12. comes in a little bag and it looks like it comes with an extra thumb screw here so we'll take this put 12 through here 12 through here 12 on the bottom one and then we'll take the 10 oops and we'll put them through the top here and then make sure that you secure the 12 here it has a little a little nut that you'll put on the back side here for the 12 
and that's the 12 in the bottom, the bottom handle. There you go, and that's how you put the handle on. Once you get that handle on, in a word, a little piece of advice, I would take the silicone cover off when you're putting the handle on. To make sure you don't put it down on your table when you're doing it. The silicone cover kind of fits weird, so sometimes it gets It was getting lodged underneath the handle, so it was making it harder to, to cinch down the plug or the screw. Uh, and then I also noticed that some of the other screws were not snug, so when you get your dome, just make sure you go around and tighten every single screw. Yeah, make sure that it's all nice and secure. And the other good thing about the, the version two is this silicone piece on the back, or the membrane, or whatever you want to call it. It's actually much clearer than the version one, and it has more uh, responsiveness to your to your fingers. So that's the reason why I went with the version two, and I went with Universal because I'll be using my iPhone along with a GoPro 9 oh, for all of my snorkeling and underwater shots. But once you have the handle on, it's pretty good. It's solid, easy to grip. I like this one only having just the four thumb screws, so it's a lot easier to to put your phone in there or a GoPro and tighten it down. This one also, it looks like from watching other videos, the version one, it has a harder plastic piece here and then the actual silicone here, whatever this is made out of. Uh, it's two pieces it looks like, so it looks like it's on a lot nicer and is gonna be more watertight. And then to make, get your phone or whatever, device you're going to use, you take the foam piece here, you line up whatever camera you're going to use, you line it up with that foam, that hole for the camera, and then you would just trace, trace around it, cut out the foam part, and put your thing in there. I'm going to do that in a minute. I'm going to take this case off in case I don't want to use this this case anymore. They also provided some double-sided Velcro so you could put that inside the dome, one side inside the dome and the other side on on your phone. That'll help keep it more secure. And if you are using your phone, well this might work on GoPros, I don't know, but if you are using your phone and you want a better way to turn to activate the camera. Oh yeah, this only look, only works for your phone because it has, at the top button it says iOS, the bottom button says Android. And then you do the same, cut out a, trace it on here, put it in here, however you want. Do, do, do. And that way when you're using your G-Dome, this button is a lot easier to press. on to take uh, pictures or video with your your phone instead of trying to use the touch screen on your phone you would just press this you do have to set the camera mode so put the camera on to the video or photo whatever format you're going to use then you close up your dome and then use this and it'll just activate whatever uh, video mode or picture mode you're using and you're ready instead of having to fudge with the touch screen on your phone. <clears throat> Pretty cool. I'm, I'm excited to use this. Uh, when I get out to Florida in a couple weeks, I'll be using it for some snorkeling and some fishing, and I will try and post videos of whatever I find out.
And I'll post a link below of the version I got since they have a ton of different versions. I researched all of them. I did not want one that was specific to one GoPro or one mobile phone. I wanted the universal, so I thought it was worth paying the extra money to get the universal one since I was always buying specific ones to my GoPros and I would either get rid of that GoPro or one I lost in the ocean and that dome becomes useless to me after that. So this one, if I ever lose my GoPro or anything like that, then I just need to get new foam inserts or if I change GoPros or get a new phone, I just have to buy new foam inserts for that and then just cut it out and then continue using this dome.